What's up guys, YJ back to the channel with another reaction video today. This time with the beginning after the end, chapters 89 and 90. I'm very sorry for the last reaction of the beginning after the end. The site I was using had a few missing panels. And yeah, but I'm pretty sure that uh, this one right now that I'm going to use uh, does not have missing panels. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the reaction. And if you do, Press the like button and subscribe as I said up here. I won't be wasting any more of your time guys. And yeah, let's get straight into the reaction right fucking now. So yeah, let's start with chapter 89 right now. Yeah, we left off with uh, the director going on a visit to art. So director goes sky. It's an honor to meet you up close and in person. Elia, yes? I've heard great things about you from Vincent. Please come in, Director Gutskai. And what may be the case right here? Why is she visiting art? I'm curious. Is it perhaps because he got into trouble with that guy in the last chapter? And yes, I did reread the chapter on another side after finishing the reaction, but it was already too late, sorry. I'll get us something to drink downstairs. Oh, thank you, dear. I told you to call me Cynthia. And I told you I wouldn't. Hmm. It seems like your bound isn't the only thing that's changed. I can only sense your wind and earth attribute mana. Are you using a seal by any chance? Oh fuck you. Yeah. So that's the ceiling. Can't say I'm not disappointed. I was hoping to go around flaunting you as my little quadra elemental pro protege. I'm glad to see you've hoped to be a scholar mage as I expected. I was planning on telling you this when I got the chance to visit you, but. But. But it was an enemy while I was an adventurer. Oh yeah, All right. And I'd rather not give him any reason to suspect me, at least for now. And she's laughing. To call the brother of a lens and the heir of one of the most influential military houses a mere troublesome enemy. I'm almost worried who your real enemies will be in the future. Yeah, actually. What kind of enemies did he have? Yeah, what the fuck am I saying? Of course he had lots of uh, fucking enemies in his previous life, so... Yeah... I guess they wouldn't keep that from you. What an ominous thing to say to a pretty boy just starting his school life. Ha! <laughs> You're right, my apologies. Don't worry about it. But speaking of school life, I did want to, to help... I did want your help with my matter. Mm -hmm. And what may that be? I want to take higher level mana theory classes, especially those on Deviants. Okay. That wouldn't be too difficult to do, but I thought one of your main reasons to attend to this academy so late was to fit in with your peers. I would I would take those classes on top of the normal ones with students my own age. I'm just a bit impatient to learn more about deviant mana manipulation since I've hit a ceiling on that recently. And because there's nothing close to deviant magic in my old world. Oh yeah. Basically. Very well. I will make it happen. I can even give you a oh, what the fuck. I can even give you a pass. 
I can even give you a pass so you can observe the top upper class mages mob battles as well. Wow. Okay. So, what's the catch? Arthur Lewin. Or Lewin. You're being true to the director. How can you mistake her kindness for ulterior motives? No, no, no. I did have ulterior motives. Ah. You're aware of the student council, right? Well, if they are what you would call the shields of this school, this year I decided to make the swords. Which are? I wanted to join the disciplinary committee, committee whatever, however it's called in English, I'm sorry. The what? As you already witnessed, an academy full of young hormonal mages brought up thinking they are worth their weight in gold oftentimes leads to problems. Go figure. The disciplinary committee will be one of uh, the one well, will be the one responsible for upholding peace and enforcing rules in our little school grounds. Huh. Is that even something a first year student should be a part of? I'm not even a battle mage. The fuck you mean you're not even a battle mage? You're way stronger than whatever is a battle mage. My school, my rules. Well, she is right. Forget it, I don't need the theory classes. I'll just teach myself from the book in from the books in the library. Those books aren't acceptable to underclassmen. And even for upperclassmen, you would need to show that you are a deviant, so... Which is something you can do right now. Am I right? <laughs> I fuck with this face. She's acting like a snake. Why do these two seem like old friends instead of a director and a student? Besides, the disciplinary committed member were chosen for their strength, so you have peers that you can regu regularly spar and learn from. I will even throw in access to private training facilities as well. You say the members were chosen for their strength, does that mean, despite House Wakeness' insistence on giving a spot for Lucas, I decided uh, I declined them? in the hopes that you would join. You've really prepared truthfully, haven't you? It's you I'm going up against, after all. Fine, but that training facility better be one of those mana rich ones. Already done. And this is a present? You got him a present? What is it? I've, re I've already taken the liberty of getting a disciplinary committee unifor uniform tailored from me. for you. Well, what is up with me today? It kind of pisses me off that she already knew what I was going to accept. Oh, and Arthur? Please make up with the Stone Council President this year soon. It's not good to stay mad at your childhood friend. <laughs> Don't worry, my boy. It's good. It's good. Guess your your lip is your childhood friend. Beginning after Janet. And all those names. And help me. I'm thankful to those names for making this. Sorry, I was going to tell you eventually. It just sort of turned out that way. It's okay. I too have what you might call a childhood friend. Let's go on a date, Delia. Oh, what the fuck is she? No. Her name was Hjogart. The fuck. It would be kind of funny if uh, this girl shows up later in the story and is feminine and not like this. Looks like a viking. It looks like uh, that one girl from 
villain seller. I'm talking about the manga later on. That's straight up a man. I, I see, she sounds like a lovely little girl. Lilia, Princess Catherine and now even Princess Tessia, what's next? Are you going to start flirting with gods? Hey, I never flirted with anyone. Um, but you have a connection with a dragon, which is somewhat similar to a god, I think. Because they are one of the strongest beings known in this world, so... Then again... He does know that you have a connection with the dragon, so that makes it even worse. Do you just toss attractive fair ones? Yeah, that's what protagonists do. And we have elves and things in here. Is this a dwarf or not? No, it's just elf, an elf and humans. So, you are so weird. I want some of those fair ones too. Elia, that's kind of sus. That's why you love me, because you're a weirdo too. I mean, homie goes, I guess. Scrum, wait up. Why are you looking at him like that? <laughs> Looks like the rumors about you have already spread. Don't mind the... I'm so popular already. Okay, he's just enjoying himself. Then... Nah, Elio, just let him fuck up people <laughs> that mess with him. Don't talk with your mouth for manners. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice that you are wasting your time with someone beneath you. My name is Charles Ravenport, I can tell the famous Ravenport house. Shut the fuck up. You look like someone just kicked you in the face. Get the fuck away from here. Surely you've heard of it. No. Well, I'm feeling rather whatever the fuck that word is today. I will allow you to join my group. I can assure you that you won't regret it. Huh? The Raven Poop? Emily? <laughs> Raven Poop. The fuck? I'm pretty sure that this is not the Raven Poor. Yeah, Raven Poor. Good one. Pretty sure a noble family wouldn't be named after Dwight. Yes. Ah, sorry, I must have misheard then. Enough. You dare mock nobility? I've gone out of my way to welcome you into my group so that you don't lower yourself by hanging out with that troll making scholar trash. But you spit in my face. Why would I go with someone who bluntly looks down on my best friend? Yeah, tell him. We are all mages in this academy. So get off your high horse. Yep. We are all mages, you say. You must have lived in a cave or something. He's a fucking dwarf. Stop it. You must have lived in a cave or something if you don't know the differences between us and them. I have lived in a cave. <laughs> Press F for my man. And even the student council is saying that we shouldn't treat each other differently. Of course they would. It's all politics and appearances, but it ain't reality. Looks like the only way for you to realize the difference is to witness it firsthand. R.I.P. R.I.P. to this dude. What hit me? I couldn't even see it. Yep. This must have been a fluke. There's no way a scholar brat could move that fast. Oh yeah. You wanna bet? I might be able to get away with using magic. But Elia... Vines? Okay, so that's chapter 89 for you. Yeah. 
Uh, I think I will be discussing everything that happens in those two chapters after Soli. Let's get straight into chapter 90. So yeah, chapter 90 on the beginning of the night. Let's go. What is this? Let me go. These vines, is this a student capable of using, is there a student capable of using such a powerful deviant magic? Or is it a teacher? Hey, unhand me. P. Who is Oh, this? Now, what should I do with him? Oh, shit. Yup. Still, rest in peace. Using magic would just get Helen in, in time trouble, so... Maybe... Do you think you get away with this? Wait till I tell my mom. Yeah, he's just a crybaby. Just fuck him up, I don't care. This pressure... Why does the scholar brat feel different than before? You brats from noble houses love to beat your chest and flaunt your riches and power. Yeah, they're like fucking monkeys, but not like the good ones. They are fucking idiots. When all you're doing is embarrassing your families by acting like this. Ha! Nothing is embarrassing about putting trash like you in their places. My parents would be proud. What should I do? Arthur looks like he's about to snap. Should I step in? Is that so? Then allow me the honor of teaching you an important lesson too. I am unarmed and tied up. What can you even do with all of these witnesses watching us? Something even crueler to you kids than physical injuries. Do you think no name brat like you can give can get away with using magic to Look, I don't see much. Ew, gross. Shut up, all of you. Yeah, don't look silly. I'll be right back. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. The beginning after the end. That was a good one. And... There she is. Thanks for the help back there. I know you didn't need it. Still, you saved me and my friend from getting in trouble for the second time today. Silence. At least it's not an awkward silence, I shall say. What do I say in this situation? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Art. Not the tongue! Ouch. I think I heard my chin crack up just now. Are you crying? Shut up. It's because it hurts. Does it hurt that much? It does. Look how swollen it is already. I thought you hated me. Even if there are times when I get mad at you, I would never hate you this. I don't want that either. Oh, uh, yeah. So, have they seen each other ever after the end of season 1, I think? Yeah, after the end of season 1. Pretty sure they haven't seen each other at all. And this is uh, the first time they are properly meeting after such a long time. It's been like, what? Four or five years? I don't know. I don't want you to get mad. Well, this time I was wrong. I was wrong. I know you were looking out for me. I shouldn't have lashed out at you like that. No, I was wrong too. I shouldn't have called you out in front of all those people. I guess I'm still trying to get the hang out of the whole student council president thing. Oh, they are so cute together. Raven Poop just managed to get out of the vines and pull up his pants back up. Uh, you should have seen his face. <laughs> 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 
this is in my company, 100%. Oh my! What is that for thinking now? Mama, oh! Do you want to take a little walk with me? Yep, of course she wants. I can't believe all that happened while we were on an adventure. And I had no idea that Director Goodsky was so close with Gramps. No wonder she knew so much about me late, so... Uh, does she now know that uh, the entire thing that happened with that guy killing off his comrades and almost killing him? Hmm. Curious. We shall see this. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why I was able to become her disciple. Wait, so, so she is the director's disciple as well. The heart is about to become one. I'm sure your skills have more to do with it. He's changed so much since I last saw him. Even the way he moves, it feels so purposeful now. His face. Dang it, I'm jealous of that just me moment. I wish I got to adventure with art for two years. Yeah, you'll get the chance, don't worry, huh? Something wrong? No, nothing at all. <laughs> Looks like we are back at the dorms already. Yeah. Uh, before I forget, that I heard from Master Good Sky, but here's a little present for becoming a duo elemental match. I can't possibly take this art. I couldn't think of a better gift for you than this. Oh. Alright. Anyway, we both have a big day ahead tomorrow. Go get some sleep. I'll see you around. Really now. Giving something so precious away so casually. <sighs> Elia, what are you doing? <laughs> Welcome back, holy mother of goblins. Please take a seat, sir, and kindly explain what I witnessed earlier tonight. Fine. Jesus. Even if you two were friends since childhood, I can't believe the Lunar Goddess was leaning her head on your shoulder. Lunar Goddess? Did you just come up with that? No, no. It's a name that the students of this school have bestowed upon our student council president. Huh? Okay, but why Lunar Goddess? Because she is like the moon, foolish Arthur. The moon looks like it's so close, you can grab it, but no matter how hard you try, you never touch it. That's so poetic. Yet, it's funny, for some reason, I don't know why. But, you touch the moon. You snuggled the moon. <laughs> yeah, hit him in the face, go to sleep. Do you have two pillows? I'm pretty sure he just threw a pillow at him. So what is he sleeping now? Anyway. And... End of the chapter. Yeah, this one was... Uh, a very nice one. I liked it, I enjoyed it. It was just precious, the moment between those two, Raven, I think. And uh, yeah. So, the story is starting to progress, slowly but surely. I'm curious what will happen with uh, the continent thing, because we have still not uh, heard anything about that. But it will probably play a big role later on, because from what I know, the series, in terms of the novel, has uh, seven books at the moment. And uh, at the moment, this is adapting the third one, I'm pretty sure so. There is lots of things that are going to happen. And yeah, I will be enjoying all of them. Hope you guys enjoy the reaction. If you do, press the like button and subscribe. And yeah, 
follow me for more content like this. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye!